What's going on Spruce Moose, it's Cynical and welcome back guys to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be jumping into the Nier Automata demo. Now I, I apologize in terms of the pronunciation on Nier. I don't know whether it's Nia or, or Nier so just bear with me. If I'm getting it wrong then I'm getting it wrong. However guys, this is a brand new Square Enix game that is uh, due to release I believe in February of next year. I've been following it for quite some time watching most of the trailers and stuff. Gotta say this game looks fucking insane. Um, and so when I found out that there was actually a demo releasing I absolutely had to download it and had to make like some sort of a video um, around it. So today we're going to be playing through the whole entire demo. Uh, I'm looking forward to this because it's it's like hack and slash gameplay. It's actually uh, made by the people from Platinum Games who made Bayonetta. So if you guys have played Bayonetta, I'm I'm gathering that it's it's sort of similar gameplay to that, sort of like Devil May Cry type stuff, or even comparable to something like Kingdom Hearts, where it's real time action combat, which is fantastic. Your boy doesn't like turn based. You guys already know this. So when it comes to real time, absolutely fantastic. This demo is currently available on the Japanese PlayStation Store, that's where I got it from. However, as of right now, as of the time of you guys watching this video, it should actually be available for you guys to just download off your local PlayStation Store. The really good thing about this is it comes with English options. Um, like English settings, so you can turn the voice acting to English and everything else to English, which makes it awesome. Um, I'm, I'm happy with that. So it's not going to be in Japanese, it's going to be all in English. So, really happy with that. So we're going to jump straight into this. I really don't know what to expect. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to kind of see what the gameplay is like, so let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Can you slow down with the talking, dude? Jesus, booty action already? All right. Okay. I ain't complaining. <laughs> Alert. Large enemy group detected. Yes, I'm aware of that. Oh shit, straight into it. Okay. All right. So in terms of the plot of this game and what's going on, uh, no idea. I I couldn't tell you. From a bar of potatoes, I couldn't tell you. Um, there is actually a near game that came out years ago, but um, I, I never got around to playing it, and this looks extremely different from that near game. Um, so I don't know if this is a sequel because of the fact that this looks like it's set in a modern day or futuristic setting, whereas the the previous game was actually set like well from the looks of it in the past, I think. Um, so I don't know whether this is a sequel or it's just another game set in the same universe. We have a fucking massive cantana. So let's whip that dildo stick out and carve up some fucking damage. I don't want to get hit there because that's not going to be good. The visuals of this game, like the special effects, goddamn, dude. Beautiful. So we can shoot with R1. A little robot buddy comes out of nowhere. I gather we have infinite ammo, so that yeah, that's always a good thing. Um, but we can shoot. So we can run and gun. Beautiful. And then we've got Wally's cousin over here, so we're gonna... Alright, so we press R2 to evade. Dodge roll, bitch. Okay, alright. <laughs> Let's get some distance. Um, so squares for the light attacks, and then triangle is far out for the um, heavy attacks. I don't know who this girl is, but I'm liking her. Enemies destroyed. Not quite. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> Dude, what is this? Is that our target? Negative. This enemy is unrelated. Okay. Dispatch it as I don't know why we're trying to fight a giant buzzsaw and what the purpose is behind this, but our mission is to obviously destroy it, so let's fucking do it. I want to know what these red glowing Cheeto things are. Okay. <laughs> very interesting. But yeah, the gameplay is very action orientated, and that's just how I like my games, man. Um, action sort of RPGs are like the bee's knees. Um, hence the reason why I like Kingdom Hearts so much, honestly. So it's it's kind of got like a similar feeling to that. Definitely comparable to that of like Bayonetta or um, Devil May Cry. All right, holy shit. Oh, that kind of hurt. 
tear this bitch up. I'm gonna give you the duck sauce combo, fool! The pod program. Holy shit, okay. So basically, you can just execute your combos and just continue to shoot, which is pretty damn cool. There's a lot of this shit getting flung everywhere. <laughs> I keep getting hit by that one attack. Alright, 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 you're about to die. Nice, nice. Better make sure he's actually dead next time. That was dangerous, ma'am. Who is this, Nominee's brother? Get out of here, fool. <laughs> I don't need your help. You're 2B, right? My name's 9S. So I can actually I'm move in this kind of thing? Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? Uh, you, you gotta answer the, uh... Just another defensive system. Oh. Okay, right. I have to press X. I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right, right nominee's oh, cousin, wait, 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 brother, uncle. You you do that in your mech suit, and I'll just chill with my stylish skirt and overly big cantana. <laughs> All right, so we're making our way down here. Uh, we can actually glide with our robot. So. Yeah, like I was saying, in terms of the story of this game, I don't know what's going on. Uh, it seems very far-fetched um, from the looks of things. Even the names of the characters. This girl is called Two Two B or something. I don't know. It seems to be that the characters have these sort of number names, like serial codes, or, or something like that, um, which is interesting. Uh, I'm sure there's a reason behind all of this. I'm pretty sure it's set in a setting where it's like humanity has gone to shit type of stuff. Which is, you know, always good. I have to say that this game looks pretty damn awesome. I'm currently playing this on the PlayStation Pro. Whether it makes a difference or not, I don't know whether this is actually enhanced for PS Pro or not. But it's a pretty damn nice looking game, I have to say. Pretty nice. I've been, I've been using that way too often. You guys have probably noticed that. It's just, it's a classic meme. It's, it's good shit. <laughs> But yeah, these robot things, I don't know what to make of them. I no idea. Maybe these robots have, like, taken over Earth and... Uh, humans have number names and they're badass and we've, we've got to fuck them up. I don't know. M maybe that's what's going on. Who knows? But I'm loving the combos, dude. The animations are super clean. Really hoping to find some, like, HP or something. I'm level 3. I think the demo sets you to level 3. Alright, picking up some currency from the looks of things. But yeah, I'm hoping to find some HP because I'm pretty damn low from that last fight, honestly. <laughs> uh, ma'am? What is it? I was going to send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. Alright, give me that mini map. Good shit. Alright, we can only move in one direction here. And that 2D side scrolling shit going on. Gotta love it. Alright. Is there a secret? Th th this is the type of stuff where you're like, there's got to be something secret or juicy. <laughs> nice. Loving the platforming um, that it kind of like forces you to do, obviously, because it's, you know, part of the level design and all. It works pretty fluidly. Um, the character feels pretty straightforward and easy to control, which is always good in a game like this, especially when it's, you know, like so action orientated. It's a pretty important thing to make sure that the controls are pretty damn smooth, so... Exit. Confirmed closed. Oh so god, I don't want to be closed in with these freaks! Nothing's ever easy. You're telling me. Holy shit, okay. Alright. Maybe they're zombie robots or something. I, and, and they've got the brains of humans in them, or, or some... Generic stuff like that. I don't know. Square Enix come up with some pretty crazy shit, so it, it's it's probably something more complex than that, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get hit by these red electric Cheeto-looking things, so I'm gonna try keep my distance 
and destroy them if I can. It's, it's kind of hard to get up close because I just, I do not want to lose any more HP. Because I honestly have no idea how to heal myself. There's, there's probably a mechanic for it. Okay, so we can actually lock on this whole time. I, I didn't know about the lock on thing. <laughs> so lock on works pretty damn cool. As you guys can see, a little reticle comes up. Um, if you're locked on, or even if you're not locked on, similar to that of Kingdom Hearts, so that's pretty cool. Works pretty well. Okay, somehow I just healed. I, the, the game explained to me how I just healed, because I, I want to know for future reference. Okay, jeez, let's... Let's keep the heavy hits for the singular targets. Alright, nice. Nice. Alright, 40G obtained. Can I buy some chicken drumsticks with, with my G? No, <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Because I gather chicken Standard drumsticks like would probably heal us. Alright, let's have a look. Use items. So we've oh we've actually got a shitload of items here. So we've got small recovery, medium recovery, and large recovery. So we've got some healing items here. 75% for large, that's pretty damn good. Um weapon attacks do double damage for 15 seconds. And their melee uh, damage taken is reduced by 50%. That's pretty good. So I just use that. I keep forgetting that in Japan, circle is actually X. It's it's a really confusing thing to get used to. So I just accidentally used one. But we'll use those items for I gather I don't know the last fight. Oh yeah, man, repping that 2B. I wonder if R2-D2's in this, if he has any involvement, just judging by the names, you know? <laughs> you can't, you can't touch this. You can't touch this! Okay, so if we actually jump and press R2, uh, we can actually do a dash, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, let's pick up this item. I feel like one of these things, they're going to be the death of me. <laughs> Alright, let's quickly pop out a small recovery. No, I keep... Once again, the, the whole X and circle thing is super annoying. Okay, alright. Thank you for, for telling me what's up. Um, so we're going to go back. Use items, small recovery. Alright, we're now max health. So I'm actually not too sure as well whether or not this demo is part of what's actually going to appear in the main game as well. I gather so because from what's going on at the moment it looks fairly what important. I, I, I gather. I'm trying to open this box. There we go. Small recovery obtained. I keep away, dude. Oh, nice, nice. Pulling out them heels. Pulling out them heels. Broken spring. Perhaps maybe there might be some sort of a crafting system in this. Okay, those things are back. That's not good. Alright, do we have some choices as to where we can no. Alright, alright, I'll use the other door, I'll use the other door. No biggie. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory. Humans! But now it's just crawling with machines. Are we not humans? Are we the robots? To increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. Okay, so I'm I'm very confused. <laughs> Upon playing this, I really want to know more about the lore, because it seems fairly well interesting, but they're saying this factory or something was created by humans, so that, that's kind of meaning that these guys here, they're not humans. So what if the robots are humans? That sounds crazy. <laughs> The platforming in this game is very interesting, it, it, it's very action orientated, but then again, it, it puts you in these weird perspectives. Um, gotta say, I like it though, it's it's very different. Okay, let's, let's just skip those guys, because there's a lot of red balls getting flung around the place, and I, I don't want to be hit by any red balls, you know, I, 
trying to avoid the damage. It's just accessing random, nonsensical data from the old world. There's no actual meaning behind anything machines do. Well, there's no meaning behind my knowledge of this game, so I guess we're, we're kind of in, in the same boat. Hmm, I'm thinking, like, maybe machines have taken over or something. <laughs> it kind of seems that way. There's a lot of robots. Oh, dude, no. Alright, we've got to be careful here. We've got to be careful. We, every time I like do physical damage on these guys, I, I take damage, so I'm thinking... Okay, no, I was just getting hit. <laughs> Stay back, vermin! Stay back! Alright, lock on. Okay, that, that's helpful. Now the gun's actually pointing towards the enemies, so that's good. Okay, let's, let's get out of there. A triangle is pretty good for this situation. The radius on that is absolutely insane. I think I'm gonna pop another item. We're actually losing health um, fairly well fast, which is a little bit worrying, not gonna lie. These game, where do you want me to go? Explain it to me. All right, up here. Gotta say, this soundtrack—it's killer. Gives me the sense of those, uh, you know, midnight missions down to like McDonald's or something. It's just like I've got, I've got to get there. It's my life goal. It's my destiny. I'm hungry as fuck, I'm craving a McChicken. This is the sort of music that would play in that situation. Alright, level up. Level 4. I don't know what levels do. Um, no idea, but... If we're more powerful, that that's good. That's good. That's the jam on my toast right there, dude. Um, let's have a quick look at the actual menu itself. So, we have a quest tab right here, which I gather indicates that... During the full game, we can do like multiple different uh, objectives and stuff, which is pretty cool. We got our items right there, our weapons, skills. Let's have a look at this. Once again, the, the, the whole the whole X circle thing, it's it's killing me. Japan, why, why do you gotta do things different? <laughs> Alright, so we actually don't have any other... We do. I mean, I'm liking the way things are working out at the moment, so I, I, I don't want to touch anything just in case, like, I'm significantly weaker. Although, with saying that, I could become significantly stronger, but for the sake of the video, let's not risk it. Analysis. This elevator's controls are locked and cannot be used. Why are all the elevators goddamn locked? We need a master key. We need a keyblade. Bulletproof? I'm not okay with the bulletproof, dude. I know. She's literally heaving that sword around her body, dude. That's how heavy it is. <laughs> so, the strategy here is to whip out the fat dildo stick that we have, this thing right here, and then shoot them. I think that's what we're gonna go for. I need to get into evading more, because I, I feel like I'm just not doing it enough. Alright, sick. Oh god, okay. Again, with these balls, man. What's with these balls? They keep flinging balls at me, dude. You're a one-shot, okay. And the ones on this side. The evade is really cool. It pretty much like auto dodges anything or most things. I'm not gonna say anything because that's that's probably a lie. But it 
Sort of similar to that of like uh, the evading from 15 in a way. You can kind of choose the direction you want to evade though, which is cool. And the really cool thing is, speaking towards Final Fantasy XV, you can actually get Noctis' Engine Blade in this game when it releases. I believe it's going to be like DLC or something. I don't know, it might even be in the actual game. But uh, it's pretty damn cool. And you can actually Warp Strike with it, which is I just the entire factory, awesome. But couldn't find anything resembling our target. That's a good DLC idea right there. Take notes, other developers. Implement your other games into in, in your other games, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Is you mean the bird? I don't know why, but I I, I have There's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed. Is that? Is that a bird? <laughs> okay, yeah, something is definitely very different here. It it definitely appears as if like humanity has gone down to shit. As you guys can see, I've got a lot of modern day buildings, but there's like a lot of vegetation, kind of like. A Last of Us sort of setting, you know, where the apocalypse has kind of happened. But uh, as you guys can see, these people, I mean, they've got robots and shit and like futuristic cantanas. Some crazy stuff. Alright, I'm picking up like all this junk and I've got no idea what it's used for. Across that bridge. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? It's not like command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Come on, Intel. Hmm. I wouldn't bet on that. Give me false goddamn false intel. Jesus, dude. Uh, uh, great, more buzz saws. These are literally just cranes with buzz saws. What? Machines are crazy. What if this actually happens? Now thinking about it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to be very careful here. Um. Okay, that was cool. I don't know what that was, but uh, I just did it, and I feel proud. So, in this setting, buzzsaws and cranes and shit, they are literally alive. <laughs> Imagine if your PlayStation 4 or your Wii U or something just, just came alive one day and, and slapped you in the face. What would you do? Would you slap it back? I know I would. I'd teach that bitch a lesson or two. Okay, I think it'd pay to probably take care of one saw first. I just, I don't want to get close, dude, because it's a fucking buzz saw. <laughs> okay, I, what do you want me to do? It stopped for a reason. Yeah, that's right. That? That's right. Back off. Target enemy Too good. Back off. <laughs> Oh no. Oh dude, no, is this a mega buzzsaw crane thingy my bob? I think it is. Holy shit. The crane is now literally alive and has red glowing eyes. This is insane. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> Damn Optimus Prime, you put on some weight, dude. Okay, well, I think it's safe to say we're fucked. <laughs> Alright, so good. He's, he's only level 6, and he's, he's giant as fuck, but we got this. Alright, that was a good dodge. I'm happy with that. Oh, and there's another one. Holy shit. Out of nowhere, dude. Out of fucking nowhere. Holy shit. This game is adrenaline pumping, man. I need to try land some decent hits. Can, can I somehow, like, get on the robot thing and, like, s smack his face or something? <laughs> Speaking of those balls, holy shit, titties, dude. Slap me in, a, in the face with the turkey and call me Fred. Holy shit. Okay. 
Okay, alright. Easy. He's got a lot of health, I'll say that. He's he's got he's got a shitload of health. Are you doing that from both sides? Oh, it's it's all good. Nominee's dog came out of nowhere to save us. It's gonna be okay, guys. Oh, we're actually this is the target. Okay, alright, I was about to say, we, we, we get to play as this man with the, with the mech suit. Some intense shit. To say the least. <laughs> okay, that's not good. That was a lot of damage. It's pretty cool how it actually gives you a display of like the numbers and stuff. Incoming enemy attack from below. Oh shit. Proposal evade. Proposal evade? Okay, alright, I'm gonna take that proposal. Because I'm not keen on getting obliterated. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, if we actually have to down all of his health, not a good time. Not a good time. Okay, here he goes again with cracking the floor. Okay. <laughs> Almost lost it. You can't touch this shit. Too fast for you, dude. Quick step. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, huh? Huh? All of your moves are useless. Ah, oh, missiles. I'm I'm okay with missiles. <laughs> oh, see, that's that's why I'm okay with missiles because missiles take my side. Ah, oh, he's back alive again. I really didn't need your help, I could have just pressed R2, but hey, thanks, the the thought counts. <laughs> I'm sorry, this man is trying to do his best, and I'm just sitting here trash-talking him. <laughs> 9S. 9S, black box signal detected. No response to 9S, alright, dude. I'm going after him. Well, I mean, do we have to? Can we just call it a day? Can we just go home and, uh drink some tea or something like that that sounds like a nice idea <laughs> oh of course he, he of course he's not dead there's there, there's no way he would have actually been dead no way All right, let's just make a way at least we're on the actual thing now so we can do some inside damage surely there's a sweet spot around here somewhere This is this is face. God, you're one pretty looking motherfucker. <laughs> beautiful, dude. You're a beautiful looking robot. Alright, that is Absolutely crazy though. This camera look at this camera. Casually making our way up a huge robot thing made out of cranes. Nine S. They are robots. Holy shit! They are actually robots. Everything is robotic in this. That's crazy, dude. I wonder if they have like robotic trees and robotic dogs and shit. Most most likely, I think that's a highly plausible theory right there. They were pretty breathless over vegetation before and birds, so I'd say it's very possible. <laughs> I have to repair him. Hod, get me staunching gel and logic virus vaccines, then access the. Inadvisable. The mm. subject's vital signs are too poor to attempt field repair. Shut up! Current. Just do what I say. To be, just go. Me, you shut up too. Jesus, okay, I'm trying to save your ass. <laughs> we, we 
We're soldiers. We take pride in our service. HO-229 flank unit. Command 677 received. I mean, if Usage right I'll, I'll be happy to take... To oh, dude, that means we're getting the suit. I'm happy about that. We're getting the suit. All right. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on! Just, just get in the suit, get in the suit. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right. Oh wait, no. We don't get to play it. Do we? No, yes, yes, say yes. Oh, I'm 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 okay with with this, dude. I'm okay with this. All right, let's fucking go. You think you're hot stuff? Well, I'm even hotter. I'm like a ghost pepper with with uh, Tabasco sauce on top. That that's some pretty hot shit. I dude, this this whole circle X thing is killing me. Can I evade with this thing though? Man, that's a lot of damage. Now the annoying thing is we can't actually get any closer. We can only move from side to side. Um, here comes the missiles. Alright, we just gotta dodge him. We just gotta dodge him. Alright, hit me up with that weakness, dude. I gotta know ASAP. Do you like bullets in your butt? Alright, the upper arm. Upper arm, okay. Alright, upper arm. Trying to dodge these missiles. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Holy shit. <laughs> this game is nuts. I, I've got to say, this this is something else. This truly is something else. Affirmative. Infiltrating enemy subunit. Nice. Behavior table adjusted. Balance controls overridden. Enemy unit subjugation complete. Ah. Oh. oh, we've got its arm. Oh, we've... Totally okay with this, dude. Hell yeah. Taste your own fucking medicine, dude. We're we're literally using his own arm to fuck him up. I Fantastic. I like the idea. <laughs> like that. And one last strike. Hell yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Crazy, so like they can take control of different objects and stuff. You just die already. Another day at work. <laughs> about bringing the battle to them ought uh, to be contact command request assistance no it doesn't look like that's going to be necessary what oh great oh it's an even bigger robot oh oh well shit is it? No, okay, there's multiple robots. I don't imagine that... <laughs> this is going to end well. Yeah, probably not, considering there's there's three more of them. And we almost died from the last one. <laughs> it's ready. Right.
Manifesting destruction of enemy hostiles via black box reaction. Request accepted. Doobie, it was an honor to fight with you. Truly. The honor was mine. Speaking in deep, dude. <laughs> That's a powerful box. Damn. Well, that is the demo right there, guys. That is Nia Automata. I have to say, uh, my initial impressions on this, pretty damn crazy. Uh, I don't really know what to make of the game. It's super fun to play. It's pretty damn crazy, like, in terms of what's going on. Gonna say, uh, this is going to be a definite pickup for me when it, of course, releases in February of next year, which really isn't too far away. Pretty much just under a month uh, after, of course, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 releases. So another really good title here from Square Enix. If you guys are, of course, interested in playing this, it is on the PlayStation Store. I would say definitely go ahead and download this. It is a bunch of fun. It's it's pretty whack, as you guys just saw. And I'm interested to kind of learn more about it and exactly like what's going on and all that kind of good stuff. But however, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I know it's a, a bit of a longer video, but I uh, thought I'd just bump this out because I really wanted to see what this game was kind of about. It'd be super cool if you guys could like this video. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.